So, have you ever just stopped for a sec and thought, what if some of those crazy stories we've always heard? What if they're not just stories? Like, seriously, what if that whole turning stuff into gold dream wasn't just some pipe dream of old alchemists, but maybe, just maybe nature actually figured it out, quietly, without making a big deal out of it? Sounds kind of wild, I know. But hey, stick with me for a bit. Today I want to tell you about something most folks don't even know. Tiny living things, bacteria, that actually make real pure gold. Welcome to Torak. And honestly, what you're about to hear might just change how you see life and money. Alright, so humans have been chasing impossible stuff for, well, forever. The idea of turning boring old lead into shiny gold? that grabbed people's minds all over the world, from ancient China to the Middle East to Europe in the Middle Ages. Alchemists spent their whole lives hunting for something called the Philosopher's Stone, some magical thing that supposedly gave eternal life and endless riches. But guess what? No one ever cracked it. Most folks called it nonsense, fantasy, pseudoscience, just some desperate attempt to fool nature. But here's the thing. Somewhere far away from all the fancy labs and castles, nature had already figured it out. Back in 2009, scientists in Germany were poking around, studying this crazy metal-resistant bacterium called Cupriavidus metalidurans. This little dude lives in places most life would nope out of, like soils polluted with heavy metals and toxic mining waste. And get this, it doesn't just survive there, it thrives. So these scientists put the bacteria in a solution with gold chloride, basically poison for most life forms, and waited to see if they'd die. Nope. Instead, the bacteria took those gold ions and turned them into solid gold particles, real solid gold. Then, they kinda coated themselves with it. Imagine that, a living thing making gold. No joke. Under electron microscopes, scientists saw gold literally forming on their surfaces like a tiny golden armor they made themselves. No fancy factory, no smelters, just life pulling off the impossible. So how's this even possible? Well, Cupriavidus metallodurans has special genes that help it survive toxic metals. Those gold ions? Super reactive and deadly to most cells. But this bacteria evolved a clever trick. It turns those nasty ions into harmless metallic gold, like a survival shield. Sounds a bit like alchemy, right? There's another microbe called Delftia acidovorans. It has a different approach. It releases a protein called Delftobactin, which reacts with gold ions and makes tiny solid gold particles. It's like the bacteria build a golden force field around themselves. For these guys, it's not about looking rich or fancy. It's all about survival. But for us, it's pretty mind-blowing. Now scientists are thinking, what if we could use these bacteria to mine gold? For real? This isn't sci-fi. Biomining is getting bigger every day. Instead of blowing up rocks or using nasty chemicals like cyanide, researchers are exploring how microbes like C. metallodurans can pull metals out naturally. Clean, safe, and with hardly any environmental damage. Think about recycling old electronics. Circuit boards, batteries, junk phones. Instead of melting them or tossing them in landfills, what if we just fed them to bacteria and let those tiny miners pull out the gold? This could totally change how we get rare metals. Not just gold, but copper, platinum, and even rare earth elements that power our phones and solar panels. Suddenly, trash is treasure, literally. But here's the kicker. This story's about more than tech and treasure. These gold-making bacteria make us rethink what life really is. We usually think of microbes as simple germs, dirt, disease. But really, they're tiny chemists, engineers, survivors. Cupriavidus metallodurans and Delftia acidovorans don't care about gold as money. They just quietly adapted to survive in some of the harshest chemical places on Earth. And they've been doing this way before humans ever dug up a single coin. Makes you wonder, what else is nature quietly doing right under our noses? So, next time you see a piece of gold, on your finger, in a museum, or inside your phone, pause for a moment. It might not have come from a mine deep underground. It could be the work of tiny living things, invisible to us, quietly crafting gold. Maybe the real alchemists were never human. And maybe, just maybe, the most precious things aren't made by fire, but by life. Subscribe and honestly, we're only just getting started.